Today is a very special day, and you're here for a reason. First of all, I'd like to thank you for being here. Today is the day in which I record the 50th episode of Rock and Roll to Success. In a little under a year since I started, or at least since I recorded the first episode, because we start way before we actually put something out, especially in the creator economy. If you're here, you're probably, you have something in your mind that you wish you would do. And you probably have a vision for yourself of something that you wanted to do. Maybe it's a podcast, maybe it's writing a book, maybe it's just tweeting, maybe it's posting things on Instagram, but you don't want to show your face. There are many ways in which we kind of self boycott or we don't know that things are possible. And this video is to show you with proof that anything is possible. But the first thing is that you have to truly believe that it is possible. You have to truly put in your mind that you can do it or that at least you'll try, you'll give yourself a shot, you'll bet on yourself. And that's what I did a year ago, I think. A bit over a year ago, I started with a newsletter and that's where the whole rock and roll to success thing started as a newsletter on Substack, and you can even check it out if you want to. I'll, I'll leave the link. And I did it weekly for, for a while, I think about six months, that I was doing weekly newsletters, very long form, so I was practicing my writing. And in the beginning, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I didn't know how to make a logo, so I had Midjourney help me. I didn't even know what I should name things so i i did a lot of brainstorming with the help of chat gpt and ended up with rock road and success as themes that were overarching amongst the things that i really like so rock that has to do with your why finding your purpose also in a way it has to do with the rocks and the road to wherever you want to go so the obstacles and how you must face them and how you must get over them also the road, because I truly believe in that saying that it's very famous because of the Aerosmith song, Amazing, Life's a Journey, Not a Destination. So I truly believe this. This was even the phrase on my birthday cake this year, Life's a Journey, Not a Destination, because life's a road. It's We have this journey that we're taking part in, and many times we keep thinking about where we want to go or like the finish line. But the thing is, it's not about the finish line. It's not about like the finish line of your life is dying. <laughs> really, it's not about getting faster to where you need to get, but also appreciating the journey, appreciating every day, appreciating the small moments, the possibilities of you know, drinking a coffee with someone that you like or having a nice meal with someone that you like or going out for a walk in the woods or enjoying those small moments with people you like, with yourself, especially you must be your biggest fan. The person that most likes you in the world should be yourself. So you need to treat yourself kindly. And finally, success. That's success, of course, we have. We can see ourselves as successful in the ways that the external world typically sees, but we can also derive a lot of intrinsic motivation to do things as well. And at the end of the day, our definition of success, what we think is important, what makes sense to us is what's important. That's why I always ask, whenever someone comes to the Rock and Roll to Success, I ask them at the end of the show, what's your definition of success? And I'm pretty sure that to most of them, it's something that's been changed throughout the years. And it's something that may change in the future as well, because we grow, we learn things, we change. And that's the point of life, the journey that makes us change, that makes us hopefully become better people, hopefully become more self-actualized. That's the whole point of life. Coming back 
to where I was one year ago. So I'd see people on YouTube, I'd see people on podcasts, and I admit that I'm a YouTube junkie. I watch a lot of podcasts, and actually nowadays I watch less and I listen to less because I'm creating so much. So this is a fundamental shift that you end up needing to do and going back to that creator state. And I say going back because you you probably heard this already that you should shift from being a consumer to being a creator. But I think that's actually the natural state for human beings is to be a creator, is to create things. When you were a kid, you were constantly making things up. You were constantly creating a story, you were constantly, when you were playing, you were always imagining things. So you were creating things. And then as we grow up, we mostly lose that spark, but that's, that's the thing, we shouldn't. We should always be attuned to the things that move us, the, the things that move us, the, the things that we were put in this world to do. And we weren't put in this world to just be NPCs, mindless consuming things that some algorithm is throwing at you. So whenever I do a video, I want to do a video that will actually help you in some way, shape or form. So this is not for you to masturbate and just imagine things. It's about visualizing. And there is a very important distinction between visualizing and just imagining just mental masturbation and the thing with visualizing is that you're doing it like michael phelps did so if you guys don't know michael phelps the greatest olympian of all time the famous swimmer he every day before he got out of bed he would think about the perfect lap on like he would think about so, okay, so now I'm prepared to jump. Okay, now it's time to jump. They have that sound, right? So that you jump. Now, one arm, second arm, first arm, second arm. So he's imagining all of the strokes that he's going through. And he's imagining his legs. He's imagining everything with a lot of detail. And it, this is the perfect lap, and he's doing it in his mind. And then he gets to the end of the pool. Now he turns around, hits the pool again, again, again. He's doing this, and he's thinking about it, actually visualizing. And then it's not just that. And then he goes to the pool, and then he's there swimming hours upon hours upon hours. And then he goes to the gym and then he eats whatever he has to eat. He, he ate like 12,000 calories, something ridiculous like that because of just the sheer expenditure of calories that he had. So the same thing applies to you. Visualizing is not mentally masturbating. And I think a distinction that might be done is because mentally master, mental masturbation is something that many people do. I know I did the past about thinking of things like what if five years ago when I had that opportunity I had done something different what if you know I had this idea and what if I had made a company out of it made a product out of it now I would be rich now I would be super happy and then... so usually mental masturbation thinks about the past but visualization is about thinking about the future and thinking about a future that you truly believe in. So it's not about like, I, I won't visualize myself becoming a professional NBA player. That, that doesn't make sense at all to me at my age, my height, my everything. It doesn't make sense, but I can imagine myself interviewing some people that I think are awesome. Like Lewis house, like, as Tormozzi, like Lana Del Rey, I can't imagining, imagine myself doing this, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not one month from now, but why not six months from now, one year from now, two years from now, why not? So in your case, 
there are certainly things that you can imagine yourself and that makes sense to you. So it's about visualizing, truly visualizing, seeing yourself feeling like you already have that. So feeling like you already achieved whatever you want to achieve. And then keeping that image in your mind and trying to become the person. And subconsciously, you will start becoming that person. You will start taking those actions. So for instance, one of the things in my life that I'm doing right now is that by the end of the year, I want to be kind of jacked, you know, not kind of jacked. Stop. Also, this is another important thing. What you say is what you truly believe in. So you need to take a lot of care with whatever you say and with the words you put out. So no, I'm going to be fucking jacked by the end of the year. Like truly strong. Like never been that strong before. I'll be able to bench press over 100 kilograms. That's 220 pounds. You know, truly strong by the end of the year. So what do I have to do to do this? I need to be the kind of person that's fucking strong. So I need to be the kind of guy that goes to the gym five, six, seven times a week. I need to be the kind of guy that eats healthy, that eats a lot of protein, but at the same time, you know, you can't drink. So that's something that I haven't done in over 40 days, I think. Uh, I, I also stopped with soda, with any anything actually that has sugar or or sweeteners. So I, I can't I can't drink soda, I can't drink energy drinks, a bunch of stuff really. Like I can drink coffee, I can drink tea, I can drink water, I can drink you know I can drink juice because quite frankly I pretty much never drink juices anyway and if that's the worst that you're doing, holy shit. You're on the right path anyways, right? So in the path of becoming that person, that version of myself, that's the strongest, fittest that I've ever been, I already adopted some mind shifts and I'm doing things differently already and I'll keep doing that differently. So this is another thing that you need to do if you want to become a person that's a creator, you need to adopt that creative mindset. You need to create things. You need to write. You need to paint. You need to do music. Whatever it is for you that makes sense for you, you need to do it. And going back one year ago, actually, yeah, one year ago, I hadn't even started. So I'm just under 11 months in now since the first episode that I published. And the first one wasn't even a video episode. So the second one was the first video episode. And, you know, there are many things that come into this, not only about putting yourself out there, about creating stuff, about being creative, but also about believing in yourself and investing in yourself so for instance when i bought this mic so for instance when i bought this mic i didn't have i didn't have a mic before and my computer's camera is terrible so i had to buy a camera as well and i, I was betting on myself i i spent some money on myself or on is the instrument to build this craft. And of course, when you're starting, you're not going to buy the best, most professional things, but it's good that you buy something reasonably good. And always think about your own case, okay? So think about, use this as inspiration for your own life. So maybe you want to do something, but you don't let yourself, and that's very common, you don't think you're worth putting that investment, spending a couple hundred dollars in whatever it is. And it's happened to me as well. Like a few years ago, there were books that I, I really wanted to buy, but I didn't buy them 
because I thought it would be too expensive. And that's a stupid way to to be cheap, a stupid thing to be cheap on. Things that you know that will help you. And now I really don't think about it when I buy a book. If I think it's something that will truly help me in any way, shape or form, I buy it. Because one insight inside a book might be enough to completely change your life. So if you get one piece of advice that's applicable to your life or that you can help someone else in your life with, it's worth it already. It's worth it. So it's a no-brainer for me now. I also started investing in some courses and some other things because you need to bet on yourself. You know, one year from now, you can be in a completely different place. You can be doing and living a life that's completely different. That's only a dream for you now. But to be there, you need to believe and you need to do the things and put in the work so that one year from now, you can also say that you have something that you did and that you bet on yourself and that you believed in yourself. And it's kind of crazy to think, like, I don't think that one year ago, and definitely not two years ago, I'd think that I'd have a YouTube channel and a podcast and have 50 episodes. And actually, if you go to YouTube, I have more than 50 already. I have maybe 60 or something. Not counting the short videos, because if you count the short videos, then pff, probably almost 200 almost 150 or something like that and because on youtube i have some exclusive videos because i i went traveling and i have some videos that i didn't put on the more official podcast like the spotify and apple music and Amazon Music and whatever, wherever else this is going, podcast. But also something that I can't believe I haven't said yet, but all of the awesome people that I've met, not only because of the podcast, but since I had to reach out to them and then we recorded it and spent a couple hours together recording the podcast and then you, you make some friends when you do this. And all of the great people that I met from all over, the, all over the world, people here from Brazil, people from Australia, people from the US, people from Europe, people from all over the world, and being able to meet people that otherwise you wouldn't meet and people that you know, sometimes in real life, it's hard to find people with common interests to yours because we end up having some very niche interests. But online, you can find people from all over and kind of like specular or mirror images of yourself, at least in certain aspects of yourself that are spread out throughout the world. And you can find them online if you... And, you know, a few years ago, I, I wouldn't even bother talking to these people because I was shyer or because I thought I, like, they wouldn't want to talk to me or something like that. And the truth is, people want to talk to people that have common interests and that show interest in them. So this is another limiting belief that I had to go through and you can go through as well. So, believe you can change, bet on yourself, always pays off, it's always the best bets. You know, champions don't become champions by chance. So, every single story of a champion, of a champion athlete, the greatest of all times, or a big entrepreneur, a big scientist, a big anything, it's a road that's paved with failure. It's a road that's paved with setbacks. But those people that rise above and that become the great people, the greatest, 
the Alexander the Greats of the world, the, those people that we talk about decades, even centuries, millennia after they've gone, their road, they didn't let those small setbacks define them. So Michael Jordan didn't let the thousands of shots that he missed define him. What defined him was his ability to get back from this, to get over those mistakes and on to the next, and his will and his how much he wanted to win and how he infected his teammates with that, you know, that feeling that he wanted it so much, that hunger. And this is something that's common to all of the great champions. They have that hunger, that will, that power. And that's what you need to have as well. If you want to achieve anything in life, you need to be as hungry as Michael Jordan. You need to have a championship mentality. You know, the love of, life, of your life won't come and knock on your door and say, you know what? Uh, the fairy godmother told me to come here and we're going to marry now and have a bunch of children and live happily ever after. That's not going to happen. You need to put yourself out there. You need to walk out, go get yourself out there do things that scare you, talk to people that scare you, that intimidate you. And by doing this, you will increase your surface for luck. So do you think with 50 episodes, I don't have a larger luck surface. It's easier for people to find me online, of course. But now imagine with 100 episodes, 200, 1000 episodes, you know, by doing this, by putting in the work, by showing up to places, by going to things, and especially the places in which you feel intimidated and go to places that make you a little bit uncomfortable, hopefully a lot uncomfortable. <clears throat> if you do this, if you go to these places, if you put yourself in these situations, that's how you grow. And... By growing, you're self-actualizing, you're, become, you're becoming the best version of yourself. And we're here to do this. We're here in this world to evolve, to use these challenges in our favor. Life is a video game at the end of the day. And you can't choose a bunch of things. You can't choose everything, of course, but you can choose a lot of things. And the most important thing that you can choose is how you feel and how you react to things. And that's something that you really need to do. Adopting the right mindsets. That's what will settle, that's what will set you up for success. And there will be times in which it will be hard there will be times in which those inner demons will try to bring you down again. There will be times in which people won't believe you, but you have to believe in yourself. And of course you're human. There will be days in which you need to rest. There will be days in which you will get sick. There are many things that will happen. But the thing is, get back. Get up on your feet again and keep walking. Buy those lottery tickets. Bet on yourself. The more tickets you bet on yourself, the larger the chance that you'll hit the jackpot. So thank you everyone that's been here with me through this journey so far. To every single friend that I've made along the way, Everyone that's been on the podcast and that will be on the podcast in the near future. Thank you so much for believing in me, for believing in the purpose of the rock and roll success, for being here. Thank you so much. I'm not going to say any names because there are a lot of people that have tapped the name and you know who you are. So thank you from the bottom of my heart.
for being here and for believing in this. And I'm very grateful for all of this. I'm very grateful for having bet on myself in the past, for meeting these people and for the changes that these new skills and these new mindsets opened up in my own mind, in my own, the way I see the world, the way I see the possibilities up ahead in the future. And that's the thing. I want you, the viewer, the person who's watching this right now, to believe that you can also change, that you can also go from being a person that was called shy in some parts of his life, or the guy who was depressed and even have some thoughts of finishing himself in some times of his life and become an unwavering optimist that believes that he can do pretty much anything and that believes that he has value and that he can bring value to any table. If I did it, you can do it too. And I truly believe in you. And yeah, I just want to end this on a high note and say thank you for being here. I believe in you. And if you don't believe in you, send me a message. Let's let's change that, man. Let's, you know what? I can coach you. I can help you a lot if you want to. Because I don't want people to to live their lives and get to a point in which they're 80 years old, 90 years old in their deathbed and think, oh man, I wish I was 20 again. I wish I was 30 again. And that I talk to the girl, that I take the risk. No, take the risk now. You can't take the risk now. That's the time to take the risk. Today, do the thing. Today, now, like just get out of here and go do whatever you know you should be doing, whatever makes you feel a bit uneasy. That's the thing you should be doing. And don't escape from it. Don't escape from it with mental masturbation. Don't escape from it with Netflix or alcohol or whatever form of escapism you tend to use. Don't escape from those things. I believe in you. If you want my help, say something in the comments, ask me something and just keep rocking, keep rolling. You know, great things are fucking coming. I truly believe in this. And thank you for being part of this journey. And this doesn't stop here. This doesn't stop at the 100th episode either or 200th. Is that a thing? <laughs> we're keeping this alive. And we're going to unleash whatever number of rock stars we need to to raise the level of consciousness consciousness of the world and to overall just make the world a better place keep rocking keep rolling let's go